Next segment, Duck, and I think are you you in control of it, are you? I <laughs> am in control of this, and this is, uh, you know, one of our favourite segments. It's funny normally. Obviously, we'll it, is. We'll it is normally funny, but <laughs> I'm not the one, or Tim's not the, the one that's funny. It's uh, obviously, say that again. Uh, firstly, like, my heart's pumping a thousand minutes per second, so... <laughs> uh. Well, let's go straight to the number one footy rider in the competition is who? Mark Robinson did not even know who, whether a certain player or a team was actually playing. You play Brisbane this week. You'll have to choose a defender to play on Charlie Cameron. Don't give him highlights of last week's game <laughs> against um, St Kilda. When you tell a player <laughs> that he's got Charlie Cameron, do you do it early in the week so he can think about it? Or you tell him Friday night... If- <laughs> Friday, <laughs> you've only got one day to think about it. Why don't you tell us now? We're, We're not playing, playing Charlie on. Cameron this week. No, no. Oh, you're not? We're not Sorry. playing. Sorry. Sorry. The game's wrong. I've got the game's wrong. Oh. Say that again. <laughs> so, he introduced with such conviction what, at the yeah, start, well, wasn't what he? About? A lot of research uh, Robbo put in there. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure Chris Scott will, uh, well, James Sicily will want Chris Scott to hear this. Chris Scott uh, yawning in the box before a game. Um, fish rots at the head, mate, so... <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. Oh boy! Uh, and uh, BT normally. Uh, oh, you got one. Normally, uh, yeah. David King uh, is the uh, man of the stats, but you had a fair crack at it on the weekend. Ainsworth joins the club. 69th kick, first goal. <laughs> In the league club? Probably not. <laughs> Say that again. Uh, and uh, young kangaroo Nick Blakey. Well, he might be very clean, but I'm not sure he's so smart. Nick Larky bought himself a leaf blower, even though they live in a unit with no yard. <laughs> and he cleans the lounge room carpet with it. <laughs> Say that again. That's uh, Bla- Nick Larky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Blakey. <laughs> I had Nick Blakey on my mind. You caught up in your own segment. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go straight into Brad Johnson, who uh, just couldn't help himself. Asprey and Marshall. Well, he held for a Marshall and he oh, got it. John, you didn't fall into that one, did you? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's have a little listen to this. Now, listen closely, BT. Uh, what's uh, Italian for free agent? So, uh, ask for Thursday night footy. It's a, it's a big stage. You're obviously looking forward to it. Don't get it that often. Uh, oggi non parlo. What's that? Oggi non parlo. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's, uh, we're going to head overseas, boys. We don't normally do this. We normally stick to uh, our own game. But let's have a listen to an ice hockey player that thought uh, the great and the late Nelson Mandela was a uh, sports star. <laughs> Just, just wanted to ask you, I mean, obviously Nelson Mandela, one of the most significant historical figures of the, of the 20th century. What, what knowledge or awareness did you have of, of him growing up, or when did you learn of him? Well, obviously growing up, you, uh, he's one of the, the most known athletes uh, in the world. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah. Come on. Oh, exactly. <laughs> who didn't know who Nelson Mandela was? And uh, talking about... Uh, Picture perfect, Mr. Perfect, Tom Brady. Oh, might have uh, just uh, not good parenting. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> sorry, boy. Say that again. <laughs> uh, just a couple of swear words in front of the kids. Uh, not good there. Now, still in the US, uh, what happens when the Big Apple bites back? Guys, I finally made it to New York City! Brady, shut the f- Say that again. Oh, oh, that's not funny. And, and, and this is our favourite. This is our favourite one of the night. And uh, I think this might be from uh, one of your favourite shows, BT, The Bachelor. Hey, Diane, Abby. Hi, Abby. Oh, Matt, nice lovely to meet you. What do you do? Uh, I'm a uh, astrophysicist. Okay, I'm a Gemini. Say that again. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, 
Those are multiple <laughs> personalities. Uh, yeah. I don't know whether I should. I've got a couple, <laughs> couple, of, couple of ones. I don't know whether I should go. I'll mention more after that. But what about this one? Um, uh, Davey Roden. Have a look and see what you think about this one. He just gives um, uh, Paddy Dangerfield. Have a look at a little low five there. Low five. That's pretty good. I love it. Nothing Great spirit. Davey Roden getting the job done down there, by the way. And this other one here. I was up in Brisbane at the Gabba on the weekend. Have a look at this. Look for the hole in the ground from his nose. Takes the mark, oh. lands face down. Now have a look at the hole in the ground. You'll see it in a minute. Nose first, bang. Oh. Look at the hole. It's a divot. It's a divot. That was his nose. He was that Baker right. or was it BT? That was yeah. Um, Baker. Yeah. Baker. Trouble with the sourdough this yeah. week. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was it. So uh, I think that just about.